go. Hi class, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make banana nut muffins. So first, you need to preheat the oven, which is already preheated to 400 degrees. If you're making it in a loaf pan, you're going to need to set it for 375 degrees. But we're going to make muffins, so 400 degrees is what that's going to be. Then you're going to need some materials. The first is a bowl. The second will be a whisk. You're going to need one cup of milk, a half a cup of oil, two eggs, and that's what Pillsbury's recipe, Quick Bread, comes, um, calls for. But my mother's secret ingredients is banana, fresh bananas, and some walnuts. Now, before we put everything together, we're going to go ahead and chop the walnuts up a little bit. Now, they're already in halves, but you're going to want to cut them up pretty well. And watch for some of them to fall. That's what dogs are good for. So, we'll cut them up just like that. Just in little bits, you know, you don't want to get a whole mouthful of a walnut. You want little bites inside your muffin. Okay, that's pretty good. Now, once the walnuts are chopped up, you're going to add all the ingredients. You'll add the dry mix that the box comes with. You'll add your milk. oil and then all your nuts which I'm going to chop up a little bit more of. Now the secret ingredient with the bananas is you want to find the oldest bananas that are in the store. Now my mom says that the older the banana is it gives it it's more sweet it cooks better when you're baking it so as you can see our old food for less bananas are pretty old you still don't want to put any of the you know, you want to get rid of the brown stuff that's in there, but generally it's okay if your banana's soft. You just want to just put, a, put it in there. It should be soft enough that your spatula can just pierce it. Okay, get rid of this, the oil. One or two eggs, which I already, let's pretend I already put one in, so. And then the other secret ingredient my mom has is just a little bit of cinnamon, just a couple little dashes in there. And we'll mix that all together. According to the Pillsbury box, it says to do 50 to 75 stirs, but pretty much if it's smooth, it should be okay. It's gonna be a little chunky because we added the banana and the walnuts in there. So just give it a good stir. And then you can have someone help you, or after you stir, you would put the liners in the pan. We put the liners in the pan back there, as you can see. All right, so once it's nice and mixed, I would get a one-fourth of a cup ready, and you're going to use that to pour it into the cupcake liners. Now, the boxes to fill up the cupcake liner is about three-fourths full. Um, I disagree because you, with the bulkiness of the banana and the uh, nuts, I think a little less than one-fourth should be efficient. So just like that. Okay. You're going to fill all of them up. Just like that. And it's nice to do them in, in this, that way they're individually wrapped. You don't have to worry about cutting it. You don't lose a lot of the bread inside the loaf pan. And so I prefer the cupcake method, or the muffin method. <laughs> So after you have them all filled up, the last thing you're going to do is you're going to pop them in the oven and you're going to put them in the oven for about 15 to 20 minutes. 
I always pick the middle, so about 17 minutes, and then I go from there to make sure that they're all done. All right, just like that. I'll top a few more of them off that aren't filled up all the way. There we go. Okay, so we're gonna put those in the oven. And as you can see, we have some finished ones through the magic of Raina's kitchen. And we're just gonna check those with a toothpick. Right here. As you can see, they're a little brown on the top. So when you get a toothpick, see, you just put them in one of them just like that. And when it comes out, it should come out clean. If it's anything's touching it, then it's not done. You put it in for a few more minutes. But since it's clean, they're all done. And that's how you make my mother's famous banana nut bread.